Minnesota Vikings, and you're watching Good Morning Football. Here we go. You might not believe this, but we're going to have a Viking on the show right now. In fact, it's one of our closest friends before taking over for Dalvin Cook in Minnesota. He was filling in for Nate Burleson at this very breakfast table in his first season with the Vikings. He led them in rushing, had eight touchdowns on the way to a 13-3 and record. Guys, please welcome Vikings running back Latavius Murray. Yeah. Hey, first of all, what, what are you wearing? What, what is it? Harry the Hitman. What's it's the that? Harry the Hitman, man, representing the best safety in the game right now, Harrison Smith, my locker mate, my teammate. Got to represent. You always do. You always do. All right, now listen, there's so much to talk about. Obviously, a huge weekend. Before we get into the Vikings, your fantastic season, the playoff matchup, everything. We got to go back, my friend, to Thanksgiving and a promise you made to the four of us. Take a look. So I'm going to ask you this. You're going to score on national yeah. television. 35 million people are going to be watching. Grandma's going to be watching. That's I right. am asking you to do a tennis-themed celebration dance for us here on the show. Can oh. you please give us an idea of what that would even look like? Oh. I love it. Latavius. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. Okay, so we go to Thanksgiving uh, Day. The cast, the crew were in NFL films in the Ed Sable Theater. In the head, so I think I was just a little, you know, <laughs> I, I might have forgot just for a moment. It was a pretty, it was a pretty big hit, a bit, pretty big shot to the head. But listen, I got you, man. Listen, I will, I will not let y'all down anymore. I promise you. But we don't want the tennis thing. You theme can look no more. forward to it Sunday. What do you want? Oh, okay, he's saying something good. different. We no, it doesn't matter. Well, you tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Nate, you, you just you. said you want something different. I what think if he waves to the camera like that, we'll know he's waving at the four of us. Yeah. Waves and goes like that. If if you do four fingers and a wave, Tate, this weekend, that's the four <laughs> of us. That's, those four fingers are Peter, Kate, Nate, I and Kyle. That's it. I love Same it. Got it. I, got I love it. Latavius, I'm wearing this Vikings hat. I look like a clown, but you know what? I feel good in it. And here's Bring the thing. Home. The way this season has gone for you guys and the way this season has gone for you has been majestic. You didn't re-sign in Oakland. They draft Dalvin Cook after you signed. You battled through injuries. Did you ever think that here we are, January 11th, divisional round, you would be the key piece to a 13-3 team hosting a playoff game in January? Um, I mean, I couldn't tell you that I, you know, saw that this was, you know, coming. Um, but I mean, I, I, I'm not surprised. I believe in myself. Um, you know, I believe in, you know, everybody in this locker room. Um, from the moment I got here, I think, you know, the guys have been great. And I, I really noticed that once I got here. And so, um, you know, we're, we're having a lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun playing together. We're having fun winning, um, you know, because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, so we're just trying to keep it going. All right, Tate Train, so you made your first postseason appearance last year with the Raiders. Didn't go according to plan, as we all know. But how does that playoff experience last year kind of help you going into this game, especially with young guys on the roster that have no idea what the postseason is like? Yeah. Um, I think it helps, you know, knowing the, the nerves surrounding it. Um, you're the only team that's playing, or, you know, the only few teams that's playing. And so, you know, the whole world is watching. You know, it's a lot of excitement. Obviously, now I'm in the second round. I uh, had to play the wild card game uh, last year. So um, I think controlling those emotions, uh, knowing just to, you know, control them when the game time starts and get mm -hmm. ready um, to do what you got to do to go out there and win. Mm -hmm. You have that experience. It sounds like it. But speaking of that, uh, a lot of people are concerned with the fact that your quarterback, Case Keenum, does not have any making her his first playoff start. Why doesn't that matter? Why should nobody care about his lack of postseason pedigree? Um, I just think maybe because of the way he's played all season, um, I don't think really anybody, uh, except for us in the locker room, really gave him, a, you know, gave him a chance and believed in him. I think everyone is surprised and shocked at the way he's playing. Um, he's playing at a high level, and I think he's he hasn't changed what he's been doing since the moment he came in here in the off season, and so. Um, we believe in him, and I think that's all that matters in this locker room. No doubt. I, I got to tell you, Tate, your boy Schrager over there completely believes in him. He's been hyping this guy for months. Peter? Yeah, well, it's, you know, I made the case for Case. He's the guy. Let's go. <laughs> you made the case for Case. You know how we do it on this show, okay? <laughs> Listen, across the, uh, across the field this weekend is going to be another running back tandem. We've gotten a lot of hype, a lot of attention. Kamara, Ingram, deservedly so. Before you came on, though, we were hyping up you and Jet McKinnon because you guys have been the second best statistically, and you've made this Vikings offense go. The thing is, tandems can be hard, man. They can be hard physically. They can be hard psychologically. How have the two of you guys made this work so well? 
Um, I think this has been a very unselfish kind of you know, mentality going into it. I think we really want the best for each other. Uh, we know when, regardless, whoever's on the field is on the field at that time. And so, um, and they're on that field to help this offense. And so uh, I think we bo both bring something different to the table. Um, and so we, we both, uh, we've both been really trying to, you know, make each other better, trying to push each other regardless of who's in there. And I think that's what's really helped uh, him and I, his, his, our games both. Latavius, um, we got these hats, this bring it home thing. It's a big hashtag. It's trending everywhere with Vikings fans. Bring it home. Look into the camera and give a message to the Vikings fan base who have been through so much in the 57 years as a franchise, why this team needs them on Sunday. Well, we need these Vikings fans on Sunday because, uh, you know, home field advantage is uh, obviously a big deal. Um, we need you guys to come out support us like you have been doing all season um, and you know we, we, we we're doing all we can to bring this thing home uh, for you Viking fans skull <laughs> skull <laughs> baby that's what I'm talking about hey listen Latavius we appreciate you so much more than you ever realized go out there do your thing man we love Nate, you Nate when are you going on vacation again so I can come back no 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 ah. <laughs> I want to be on the show with you, okay? I don't want to be on vacation. Oh, okay, listen, okay, okay. We, I know there's one black guy quota, but we can get two guys up here on the show. <laughs> and, and, and listen, man. No, Latavius, hey, he doesn't want to go on vacation because he will never come back. His job will be taken. <laughs> you got to get him to do the gallow horn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm going to do the horn when I come down to Minnesota. Do get <laughs> Yo! Love it. All right, man, Love listen, it. We love you, man. We appreciate you, bro. <laughs>